when I'm playing uh, for Bonnie Munkickham's 13 years now. Been with the same team since the age of five. Most teams in Ballymun Kickham's are like a family. The Ballymun Kickham's kind of stream runs in our blood. It's kind of pride in your own crest. I love playing Gaelic. Don't plan on ever stopping playing. I'd love to follow in the footsteps of a player like Dan Rock, only because he's just he's so cool on the ball. I really want to make it to the senior girls team and kind of start that up. And then also I'd love to make it to the Dublin squad as well. Yeah, I'm really proud of being proud of Kickhams. Ballymun Kickhams has been a long established team. CJ Kickhams was formed in 1888. And in 1969, they merged with Ballymun Gales to become Ballymun Kickhams. We have a good clatter of fellas who have represented Dublin, and I think there's about 30 lads who have represented Dublin and won medals with Dublin. Philly McMahon and then James McCarthy would have been in the Dublin squad. They would have made their breakthrough in Windy All Ireland in 2011. After that, then Dean came along in uh, 2013. Paddy Small and Evan Comfort are in now, and John Small also came along in around 2014. The Roach family, the Rock family, the Clinton family, the Hargans, there's a huge amount of people who have played for the club and now their sons and daughters are back playing here, so it's a great sense of family pride. It is definitely like a big family up here. This club feels like a family to me because sometimes when you're having a rough day or a rough week, you drive through those gates over there and it's almost like it's cathartic for you. You suddenly feel like you're at home. You suddenly feel like that this is where you deserve to be and it makes me feel happy the minute you come through the gates. And even if you're leaving here with a, you know, a bad result behind you or a bad game behind you, it still feels like you've achieved something by going through those gates and being with the people that you, you care about. It's not all about the physical part. It is very important to us to make sure the kids are listened to, that if anyone has something, that they, they know who they can trust, they know who they can talk to. One of the most difficult things for teenagers these days, and it's not really spoken about much, is depression and mental health issues. And one of the greatest ways of battling that is exercise and team sports. And we've certainly seen some kids with difficulties coming up to us and they to just leave with a smile on their face after every training session and after every match. And as we all know, physical sport and exercise is a great release. So you stress about exams or whatever it is, you just you come up and clear the head never. It's kind of easy to clear your head and if there's something on your mind, you kind of forget about it by the time you're finished training. At the club, the people that are on each team, your managers, they do care. It's not all about just being on the pitch. They care about outside of you, social life as well and that, and how you're getting on in skills. Trying to train and study is hard, so to try and give them a little bit of help. We're running grinds for our Leaving Cert students heading for university and college. Well, we've two nurseries in the club, kids from age three to four. The coaches at these clubs are our teenage players. So some of them could be cousins or friends or neighbors. So the teenagers, along with our GPO, Jerry Seavers, help bring the kids up. We're hoping to relocate down near Ballymun, which would just make it an awful lot more easier and accessible for a wider community. So hopefully if we relocate and we can have a nice new premises and new pitches and get even more children, boys and girls, involved in the club for the future. And create a few more dub stars along the way.